I decluttered 30 items from my home and this is what I learned. Hi everyone, welcome back to Sugar Mama TV. I am Kanna Campbell. A couple of weekends ago on my normal everyday Instagram account at Kanna Sass, I decided to share with you guys my 30 decluttering process, decluttering 30 items from my home. This is a really quick, easy and approachable way of embracing a more simplistic, minimalistic philosophy in your home. It's quick and easy to do. And I decided to share this experience and journey with you on my IG stories. Now I have gone and saved at your request this on my IG highlights, so go and check it out at any time that you like. But as I was going through this process, this journey, I had a lot of wake up calls and I found it really confronting as I went through a wave of emotions. I hit lots of blocks, but I also hit lots of breakthroughs and I discovered some new and important lessons that I want to share with you right now. Lesson number one, for me, minimalism is my anchor. It's my baseline. It brings me back down to earth. You see, recently I have been really overwhelmed and quite anxious. I'm going through IVF. I actually suffered a miscarriage. I also have had huge assignments due for a course that I'm studying and a big upcoming exam, as well as big staff changes going on at the office. And I've been feeling really overwhelmed and I realized that my consumption levels have been increasing. Now, as I went through and confronted all the items that I own, all the stuff and realizing that I had duplicates, I've been doubling up, there was stuff that I didn't really love, value, use and appreciate. It made me realize how important minimalism is in my life. It helps keep me grounded because it gives me clarity. It lets me see my value system, my purpose and my direction. And as I try and embrace a minimalistic philosophy with more simplicity and clarity, this is incredibly important. So I need to reconnect on a regular basis with minimalism because as I said, for me, this is my anchor. The second lesson that I realized to myself is I need to be more honest and authentic for, with myself but come from a place of kindness. You see, I never really like to say I'm a minimalist. I like to say I embrace a minimalistic philosophy. However, as I looked at all the stuff around me, I realized I need to be honest with myself and accept that there are times where excess does creep in. Old habits do die hard. But at the end of the day, I need to be really honest with myself because as I experience more clarity, I realize that authenticity is so incredibly important to my overall sense of happiness and well-being. The third lesson that I discovered was actually came from the last place that I even considered decluttering. It was actually my fridge. I never expected to declutter my fridge, but I hit a block and I decided to keep the momentum going and somehow accidentally I ended up looking at my fridge. I think I was probably grabbing a snack to procrastinate. And I decluttered my fridge. I got rid of all the toxic plastic food in there. The cakes, the biscuits, the cheap chocolate. And I do keep some high quality dark chocolate in there, don't worry. But it was amazing what this helped me do. It removed all the temptation from my fridge and I could then see all the beautiful, healthy, fresh produce in my fridge again. Things weren't jammed and squished and it just made me feel so much better. And I have to say, since decluttering my fridge, I've been eating so much healthier and my energy levels have really improved because of this. Fourth lesson or wake up call that I discovered from this process was minimalism is a luxury. You see, we're not minimalists, we're not embracing minimalism out of necessity because we can't afford to own things or buy things. We have the luxury of choice to choose to embrace this lifestyle, this way of life. And that is important in a modern day world. The fifth lesson that I learned from this experience was clarity. This was a really beautiful awakening for me. You see, when we have lots of stuff, we can't possibly see it all because it's all packed up on top of each other or squished. And also we run the risk of our beautiful precious items being damaged. You see, when we embrace less, we have space. We can beautifully and purposefully and mindfully place our items around us so that we can see them, we can appreciate them, we can experience joy from those items. So as I, you know, for example, reorganized my makeup and put things neatly back in order, I was reminded of all the beautiful palettes and colors that I have that I haven't had a chance to experiment with yet or had forgotten about their beautiful shades and what they do, you know, for my face and my appearance and how they make me feel. And importantly, 
As I gained this clarity from making the space, I was able to have great appreciation for all of the items that I already own. And importantly, the idea of going out and buying anything new completely dissipated and disintegrated because I can see everything again and I realized I have everything that I need and more. The sixth and I think the most beautiful lesson that I discovered from decluttering my home is reusing or repurposing my items in a multifunctional way. You see, I discovered I had lots of really similar basic glass vases. And I was thinking, you know what, I don't need this many glass vases. But as I went through this process, I decided to use the glass vases as tissue boxes. You know those ugly tissue boxes that are quite often like bright colors or just don't really match with anyone's decor? I decided to take all the tissues out of the box, obviously put the box in the recycling bin, but then put the tissues into the clear glass vases and put them in my bathrooms next to a beautiful plant or you know toothbrushes and things like that and it looks so chic and so elegant and I was able to make space in my cupboards but then use these items with good intentions and it felt really good and I felt really proud of what I had created. And then the seventh and final lesson that I discovered from going through this simple easy and approachable decluttering of 30 items from my home and that is kindness. You see, I can sometimes be really tough on myself. I put a lot of pressure and stress and high expectations on myself. I don't do this to other people. I just do it to myself. I can be really tough and mean sometimes. And that does not help me in any way possible. And when I was going through this process and looking at all my stuff, I started to feel really guilty and I started to like have, I guess, negative self-talk to myself about like how I had, was a fraud and I had got excess stuff, stuff again. It was creeping back and my old habits were coming back. And I decided that this is not what minimalism is about. Being a minimalist is about being kind to yourself. It's about creating the space to allow more light, more clarity, more direction, more love and luxury, whatever your definition of those things may be. And that's the beautiful thing about minimalism. So as I went through this process, I caught myself with this negative self-talk and I decided to accept that minimalism is a journey. We're always going to have challenges. We're always going to have temptation. This is the journey, the adventure behind minimalism. And it's okay that sometimes in life we get excess stuff. So I decided to be kind to myself and realize it's okay. I've moved home. Of course I have excess stuff. Of course I feel guilty about letting things that came from the old house that don't suit the new house go. That's fine. That's healthy. These emotions are acceptable and completely normal and to be expected. And as I sat with kindness, love and acceptance, those feelings of guilt, anger, disappointment, frustration dissipated. And I felt lightness and clarity and happiness return back to my life. So if you're a minimalist or you're approaching minimalism or you're interested about learning about minimalism, I highly recommend when you do this, Think about an act of self-love. Think about kindness. Open yourself up to the wisdom and the lessons that come from embracing less. Because when you do this, you allow so much more beautiful values, acceptance and self-love and self-care come into your life with shining glow and glory. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Of course, go and check out my IG highlights where you can see where I've decluttered. And I promise you in a couple of weekends, I will be doing this again. Because as I said, I discovered I had a bit of excess stuff, which I'm going to be letting go. So make sure you're following me on both Instagram accounts and I'll let you know when this happens. Ciao for now. And don't forget to make sure you're subscribed and your notification bell is switched on.